as you can see I have all kinds of videos on here I hope you like them find them informational enlightening and maybe entertaining please subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of these by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down thank you well hello today we're going to be working on this Montana behind me it's 2009 uh, Keystone the legs won't go up and they won't go down without a lot of cranking and if you've ever tried to hand crank one of these you got to be a bigger man than me to get that done anyway we're gonna get in there and tear it apart we're gonna do it quickly because I'm on my motorcycle and if you can see there's rain clouds coming so let's get on with it see what's wrong with this little Montana by Keystone today is going to be a fun day I've got to change this plate here gear drive it's rocking and rolling and it ain't supposed to it's supposed to stay still but something's loose and I'm hoping it's not the motor that's bad it's hopefully I can just fix it with something don't know we'll know till I tear it apart so let's tear into it and see what we got first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the power off for everything gonna turn it off for the main batteries gonna turn it off for my inverter we're gonna turn it off for the solar power but I don't think I turn that one off first I'm gonna turn off the other side and then turn that one off okay the power shut off everywhere now I'm gonna pull the motor off and see what's going on there the motor was real easy to remove only had two wires one red one black so I cut them then you only had two screws one on opposite corners you take those screws slash bolts whatever you want to call them out and the motor just comes right out goes back in just as easily well we've got everything apart as you can see we took this gear drive off took it apart it looked okay we we'll put some grease in it I'll show you what we did on the back side everything else is unhooked we've determined we needed a motor naturally when I started looking for a motor I did it as everyone else does I googled it and it came up with this motor you see here from e-trailer the price wasn't too bad and the staff was very friendly and helpful because I wasn't for sure if that's what I needed they even called my manufacturer for me and then got back to me and told me that the one I was looking at was the wrong one and this was the proper one so thank you e-trailer that's where I'll be doing my shopping from now on so what we've got here is this gear if you can see it this thing was just rocking and a rolling in here it wasn't catching on these little catches down here there's a little catch there I don't know if you can see it it was just bypassing that and it was rocking in there so we put these little spacers I made this will hold the plate in inward inside this little cutout area and, and that keeps it from flopping but uh, otherwise I think it's an okay gear so now we got a new motor and we're gonna stick that on there and see how that works this gearbox fits right inside a cutout spot that looks like it was made to help hold it still but it was not so I made these little spacers to hold it out a little bit past even so the body of the gear plate had something to bump against and it worked fine I didn't take a photo of the spacers but this is the best drawing that I could come up with of how they look I took a square piece of stock half inch by half inch I ground off about a quarter of an inch on one piece and an eighth of an inch for the other bracket and then just bolted them on and that held it into the opening like it should have been to begin with well as you can see it's installed and as you can see that sucker is sturdy now with them 
spacers I made on the other side. I just bolted, there was a couple holes there, so I just bolted them through here. But when we were doing this, we noticed this. See if I can get to it and show you. There's a wire right there, a white one. Can't see it very well, but it's chafed. Let's see, uh, it's under my thumb. Bare is what it is. So I'm going to wrap that with some tape. Then I'll secure all these wires here. And that'll be done. It works great, runs up and down great. So, to recap, these are the two bolts you got to take off. Right. Well, for some reason, my video stopped videoing. So, I'm going to tell you what we're looking at right here. You got the bolts down on your right hand lower and up on the left hand upper. Those two needs to come out. Once you take those two out, you clip your two wires there, the red and the black, and then you uh, just pull it right out. It's easy. If you need to take the gear drive out, you're going to need to release the other side, which is the bracket right here. You take that bolt out there and then slide that over, then you can get the whole gear plate and motor off. Once you slide that over, it's going to look just like this. You go all wire tied on yes that was a white wire which on most RVs that would be ground but you'd still don't want it rubbing on something it shouldn't be grounded so it's all covered up with tape and it's all wire tied down and uh, good to go now I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do since I've been in there messing with the the whole system right there is the legs right here if you can see it it's bright I'm going to pop that off. As you can see, I've already been in there. It's all greasy. I'm going to clean that up. Pop that off with a screwdriver. It just lifts right up. And then I'm going to pack that with grease. The grease will then put the lid back on. If any extra grease falls in down through the leg, it ain't going to hurt nothing. It's just going to lubricate it. And uh, this is how I lubricated the legs to begin with. You can see that one's still got a little stuff on it. I'm going to clean that off. Real simple. I'll show you that in a second. But what I've done is I just went right up there, took the cap off, and poured a quart of oil right down in there on both legs. Let it go all the way down through the gearing. Yes, it made a mess. That's why the bucket's there. But then I take this brake cleaner. You can get it anywhere. And then I just clean it off. Get the rest of the oil off, like so. Comes right off. Because this part don't need to be oily, up in there does. So that's good to go. Easy to clean. Now let's get back to packing the gears. And I'm sorry I just made you dizzy there. But I'm in a hurry because it's getting ready to rain. And I'm on my, as you can see, I'm on the motorcycle. I want to get the hell out of here. All right, let's get them packed. Let's see, there's the screwdriver. There we go. Focus in, focus in. So as you can see, it's real easy to pull off. Put the screwdriver right under that. Lift that thing up. We're just going to set it over here for now. You can see that I've poured oil down through there. and That took away most of the grease. Now I'm going to pack that thing completely full of grease. You can't have too much. All right, that side is packed. So now I'm gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna wipe off all the access and call that good. I'll do the same to the other side. The other side was just the same. The grease had fallen down through there with the oil that I poured in there, which is all right. Well, this is the grease I'm using right there. Any, any bearing grease will work. That's high temp bearing grease. I don't need high temp, but it's what I had on the shelf. And here's how we put it in there. I just cut me a little old piece of board, packed it right just like that. Flipping. There we go. And then I just gobbed it in there. So both sides are done now. Replace the cap simply. 
and then I'm gonna clean it up. Let's see if we can get a picture of that. Pretty simple. You notice the cap has a contour on it. You want to put that in the right area and that goes in the back. And that just sets down like that. And, ah, let's get it. There we go. That's how easy that goes. Now I'm going to clean it off with my old t-shirt. Once that's cleaned off, it'll be good to go. Hard to do it with one hand. I can't even see what I'm doing. I'm looking through the camera. But anyway, there we go. That'll be clean. Not going to get any mess on me or anything by sticking my hand in there. Yep, clean the other side off, put the lid on, and we're done with that. What I'm going to do now is pull that bucket out from underneath there, clean the leg off like I did the other side, and that whole front end should last a while. What I did here was uh, to get the bucket under there is I just jacked up the frame, took the pressure off. Now then I'll lift that leg up, pull that bucket out, and clean it off, put everything back the way it was, let the jack down, and be done with that lubrication part. Well, I've turned the power on that I needed on. Use my solar uh, power up there just to keep the batteries topped off. While I'm parked here, I leave the battery on in case anything else in there needs juice. Uh, I got plenty of charging. It's at 14 right now and it's cloudy. Uh, we're all done with that. There may be a, no reason to turn off all the power, but I'm thinking it's a good thing. You don't want to be working with electrical with live wires. I don't anyway. Maybe you do. Anyway, uh, we're done there. All I got to do is clean up and uh, we'll call that a done project. Hope you learned something. I did.